let's proceed with our poultry management system that is in the final part so we can start by creating a feeds query uh, we had skipped feeds query so we just go to this point go to feeds then feeds code feeds type quantity uh, that is quantity boot quantity fed date of uh, buying price total spend and shed so uh, in this point here we have the quantity bought and the price so in case you want to see uh, the sum here or the total we just need to go and put a semicolon then we have uh, we have quantity quantity bought quantity bought multiplied by price price that way so uh, if you look at this one this is the uh, formula so this is the formula guys you have the the formula this is the formula that is uh, quantity bought multiplied by price that's what we have then i can just save that one we go to this is feeds query then we go to the next one the next one is birds query go to design view of it now you want to have the total buying price so it is the buying price multiplied by number quantity so here you just put a semicolon a semicolon then this is number quantity multiplied by multiplied by the buying price the buying uh, the buying price that way so this is the formula for that matter this is the formula for that then if you want to see uh, the that is the the selling price we have the this one here we have the number sold multiplied by selling price so we put the semicolon this is the number sold time is uh, selling price that way so uh, we can proceed with the next one we want to see x grade the that is the total that is the x total x amount so this one is the x read multiplied by x sold so you put a semicolon here a semicolon before you have that one multiplied by uh, x x sold that way so this is the formula for that matter this is the egg grade multiplied by the egg sold so those are the functions that are uh, are supposed to be uh, there so that uh, when you go to birds details here uh, if for example I just go to a uh, buying price here I put five dollars then I bought ten that way then I bought ten then we have uh, for example we have the um, we have the selling price here is twenty dollars and we sold five uh, we need to have the totals here so uh, we need to refresh the we need to refresh the the field so that is the source so i go to the sign view then i just go to property sheet up here then change the record source from the table to query so i just go to bad query and save that one there we are guys you see now the calculations are made for example here uh, there are 100 eggs and each egg is five so you see now i've been in a position to see the that is the the amount auto calculated for me so you can see what i have done is to uh, make sure that um, the record source has been changed therefore i just go again to design view here yeah? then i just go to data that is to this point here format just need to change something here so just click this 
So this one should be in constituents database. There we are. So after doing that, I just go again to the, the that is the feeds, the feeds here. I do the same. I click, go to design view. Then I change the record source from feeds to feeds query for that case so that I can see the calculations. So here I bought 10, quantity fed, I fed 5. A date bought, you can just choose the date here from the system. Price was 100. So you see I have spent 1000. Then I can choose on which the feed type here is layers mash. There we are guys. So if I do the refresh that one, that one now gets inside my my uh, sub form. So after having done the calculations guys, we can also populate the reports. So I hit on bad query, then I go to create here, then I create on I hit on report. So this is my report. That is the birds report. I save it. That is birds report. Birds report. Birds report. Then I hit on feeds. Then go to create. Then report. Again, now this is my uh, this is my feeds report. You can just stay with that name. I'll just change this one to R. Feeds report. Then medicine report. Go to create. Then report. Then I can be in a position to save this one. This one is my medicine report. That way. So, uh, so we can now proceed. Uh, we having uh, created this one, we can proceed to create the the main form or the dashboard. So I go to create here. Then I click on rank form. This is my blank form, guys. So I right click on it, go to design view, then hit on save. This is my dashboard, dashboard or main form or switchboard. Actually, this is a main form, not really a switchboard. So I can right click here and uh, okay, I have already gone to design view. So I just go to form design up here. Then I go to property sheet. I choose my form so that I can get data. So I want to put a photo here. So I click on all, then I go to picture here, hit the three dots. Uh, this is browse, it goes to my pictures. Then I can just go to uh, where the portrait is. Then I need to put this one as my dashboard. This is my picture, then I want to put it uh, a stretch. So if I run, guys, this is my dashboard. You can see how that one comes. Right click again, go to design view. So after doing that one, I can uh, just be in a position to uh, draw or to uh, arrange my forms and my reports accordingly. So I click on the ribbon here and then type forms. This is my forms. Then go to format, increase the font size. Those are my forms here. You can just yeah, choose Karabrak. That's my forms. So I can just copy this and paste. Uh, then, then this one will be my reports here. Reports. Just type reports. So after doing that one, I go to this form design up here. I hit on the button and draw. So the wizard launches. I just go to form operations, open form. Next, I need to have my buds. Uh, that's my birds detail so, so i just go to next this is my birds details birds details then i hit on finish again i take the same one i draw down here go to form operations open form next this is feeds next next therefore these are my feeds details so this is feeds details then finish Again, I click on the next one. I just go to form operations, open form, next. Then this time around, I go to medicine, next, next. So this is my medicine, medicine details. Uh, 
this finish again i click on form operations open form next then you can have that is the we have the that one medicine yeah those ones i think those ones are enough so i just delete this so the next thing is just to arrange them so we arrange them like that so you can just arrange them and also make sure that they are uniform with each other you can also guys change the color go to format shape you can change the color of our buttons that way then again i go to design and then now i want the forms so this time around i go to form operations preview form a uh, preview report sorry birds report so this is the birds report birds report then finish again i draw this one this is the uh, report preview report we go to feed report so this is the feeds report feeds report then we go to the last one the last one here the last one is report operations preview report next then we have the medicine report uh, this is the medicine medicine uh, report that way then again uh, you can just do the same make sure they are uniform or they are just close to each other then highlight sorry undo i just need to hold shift and select that one format this one they will be different color it can be black and white these are my reports so guys if i save this one and run this is my dashboard you see now how my dashboard looks like but i can separate this ones so can just take this uh, this ones can just take this ones somewhere here to avoid to avoid hiding the photo so uh this is how my dashboard looks like so when i click on this one guys you see now it's opening the forms accordingly you see it's opening my forms accordingly so when i go to the reports you see this is the report the report is um, opening uh, accordingly so if i go to my dashboard here this is the form that should uh, road so still uh, can just have this one highlighted all of them and take them down then have a heading here my heading here is poultry poultry management system then click outside inside go to format go to font increase the font size if we can just still pull this that way then this one should be sent somehow centered and just make it to black for readability purposes so save run you see guys what we have this is our our dashboard and we can control almost everything from here so some needed to go a bit that way yeah good so after doing that one you need now to arrange this uh, system in that when it loads it starts with a splash form and then the dashboard so guys i will just import a splash form from another database that i had done so you just go to get external data then new data source from sorry from database then you hit access then browse then mine are somewhere here so you just go to uh, my pictures here then i can just choose one from here so i open then go to forms splash i'm importing a splash form so that you can see here i have imported a splash form guys this one so i just needed to do a bit of modification so i right click go to design view then now change this one this is poultry management system 
management system. Then this one can be delivering delivering chicken 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 to customers. Then we can change this photo by going to design view, then choose form guys, choose form. So guys, we click on, we choose the form here, yeah? then go to all, we go to where picture is here, change the picture by hitting on the three dots, go to pictures, uh, poll tree, then I need to put this one that way, therefore this one uh, should be zoomed, I can just change this to make sure that the, the picture is vivid, so this one. To make sure the picture is vivid then i save that guys then the next thing i need to change the form that will be read after the splash form so when the splash form is open i click on view code here then i change this one to dashboard the form to open is dashboard dashboard that is the only place you change remember guys you can get a copy of this database from my website and um, then you can be in a position to manipulate you can be in a position to copy and paste the codes for free so the next thing is to go to fire then i just go to options then current database i just go here display form i choose splash form that is the form that should read then the application title this is uh, Portrait management system. Then from there, in case you have an icon, you can choose an icon, but um, I don't have it. Then from there, you need to remove display navigation, also remove allow full menus, also allow default shortcuts. Then from there, uh, you just hit on OK. Then after doing that one, you save, you then close the system and then open it so i open it see what happens guys you see what happens the system loads the the splash form and then the dashboard so guys thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe and also remember to make comments so that i can know where to improve on thank you very much